God has a plan and a purpose for you. You know, the way that we end up seeing this is actually God ends up showing us a different way and a path. He changes our reality. Isaiah is one of the best examples that we end up seeing. Talitha Kum. Wow, he even tells me, girl, is out. But also when we're in the toys, and we're seeing that spiritual rebirth, how he can bring back from the dead. He can change the life. Did you know that the way that we end up seeing within Isaiah, he's showing the parallel of Israel, a minor prince who sees God, who makes straight his path to go. From the heel to the head, I actually didn't understand that I just been there for taking a new life purpose. It is to change the way that we end up seeing the world and to take the action necessary to receive divine information. It is not soothed. Light is glory at its finest. Also, the very love that we can receive with a new connection with our students. It is to love the Lord with all of our minds and look for into perfection. That perfection that comes forth is actually a divine portion of instruction. We end up understanding how God can be to say. How he can take us to show us something, how he can take the very top of the world and give us a new way to move forward. How he has opened up our mind and it's the inception of a new God, the perception of reality itself, but also to have a deeper understanding and appreciation of the world. You can get into it so deep. Why the most complex way that I ended up seeing it was in Gematria, but they would show forth the value system of the word of God. But what I found was interesting. They would end up using numerical systems. So they would have Yahweh by value 26 and Dabi for 14. Using the value system. Yote by Hay for value. 10, 5, 6, 5, come up with 26 on value and find different words that end up having the same value that connect with the world. That's one of my favorite examples. But even in the series, what we end up seeing is that also that there's a way that we have a deep appreciation for each and every one. If we look towards the Etzerah, the formation, and the marble, the higher level is the presence of understanding that connects us within the world of the world of creation, then it is to understand that when they open up the world, I say, Bereshis Barai Lakim Shem, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Well, how did God create it? He spoke. John says the same In the beginning, it's the world. And the world was with God, and the world was God. The world became flesh and dwelt among us. That's one of the miracles that I'm saying to see this is that when you speak the word of God and build forth creation itself, you actually end up seeing the miracles. And the prince of God, that gives you a deep appreciation that the concept of God has built forth the world of divinity, of aspiration, of creation, and because of that, we end up having that line of God. It is his eternal salvation and the connection that we end up having with the Savior. Because of that, we are reborn. You change history. And what you do is you actually so forth the word of God. generation to generation. It is the decrees of his peace and his kingdom that you yourself are building for the kingdom of heaven and it is because of grace on this earth. What can you do to please him? Why it says it's like filthy rags. Imagine the rags are trying to feed the father. Father, I did a push. Well, I did 300. If I did a thousand, it's still be more. It's the same one. Lord, I praise you. Oh, I praised you five times. I said David prayed five times today. You still pray more. But to understand that it is repetition, it's constant. When you consistently pray, lift up adoration of the Lord. Rep out the Lord. Adoration of the Lord. That's the key. That's the golden key. It is to call day after day, night after night, and to seek love. Love God and love. All of his soul, all of his strength. I know that he opens up the eternal blessings of heaven. Eternal. When you see Christ. And because of that, God opens up the heavens. He gives you all his blessings. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, faithfulness, fidelity. Most important, love. Faith, hope, and love. The greatest of those.